We're asked to determine the derivative of the given function and approximate the derivative function value f prime of one to four decimal places. We are given f of x equals the quantity two plus x raised to the power of two divided by x. Because the base is a function of x and so is the exponent, in order to find the derivative, we will perform logarithmic differentiation. For the first step, we replace f of x with y, which I've already done here on the right. The next step is to take the natural log of both sides of the equation, which gives us natural log y equals natural log of the quantity two plus x raised to the power of two divided by x. The next step is to apply the power property of logarithms to the right side of the equation, which gives us natural log of y is equal to natural log of the quantity two plus x raised to the power of two divided by x is equal to two divided by x times natural log of the quantity two plus x. Again, this is the power property of logarithms. And now we take the derivative of both sides of the equation with respect to x. On the right side, let's write two divided by x as two x to the power of negative one. This will help us when we find the derivative. Now remember when differentiating, if the term is a y term, we apply the chain rule and have an extra factor of dy dx, which means on the left, the derivative of natural log y with respect to x is equal to one divided by y times dy dx. And now on the right side, if on the derivative, we have to apply the product rule, which gives us the first function, which is two times x to the power of negative one, times the derivative of the second function, the derivative of natural log of the quantity two plus x with respect to x is equal to one divided by the quantity two plus x times the derivative of two plus x, which is just zero plus one, or just one. And then we have plus the second function of natural log of the quantity two plus x times the derivative of the first function, which is the derivative of two x to the power of negative one. So we multiply by negative one and then subtract one from the exponent, which gives us negative two times x to the power of negative two. And now let's go ahead and simplify the right side of the equation. We have one divided by y times dy dx is equal to, remember two x to the power of negative one is equal to two divided by x. So let's write this first product as two divided by the product of x and the quantity two plus x. This is supposed to be a two. And then for the second product, negative two x to the power of negative two is equal to negative two divided by x squared. And because we have plus here and then we have a negative factor, Let's write this product as minus two times natural log of the quantity two plus x divided by x squared. And now the last step is to solve the equation for dy dx by multiplying both sides of the equation by y. Let's do this on the next slide. So again, we now multiply both sides of the equation by y to solve for dy dx. y times one divided by y simplifies to one, giving us just dy dx on the left. And now on the right side, we want the derivative in terms of only x. To do this, we replace y with the quantity two plus x raised to the power of two divided by x, which gives us the quantity two plus x raised to the power of two divided by x times two divided by the product of x and two plus x minus two natural log of the quantity two plus x divided by x squared. And of course dy dx is the same as f prime of x. And now that we have our derivative function, in order to evaluate f prime of one, we now substitute one for x. So f prime of one is equal to, well if x is one, here we have a base of three, and the exponent is just two divided by one, which is two, and then we have times two divided by the product of one and two plus one, which is three, and then minus two natural log of three divided by the square of one, which is just one. And now let's go to the calculator and get our decimal approximation. Three squared is just nine, so we have nine times the quantity. This first fraction here is just two thirds, or two divided by three, and then we have just minus two natural log three. 
which to four decimal places gives us negative 13.7750. I hope you found this helpful.